Hey everyone, welcome back to Anna Nail School English channel. In today's video, we are going to do a gel overlay. So before I start with the video, if you are new here, please consider subscribing to my channel and also don't forget to turn on the notification. And also if you like this video, please like, share, comment and all those good things. So now let's begin with the video. So before we start, let's just have a look at the na nails. So here as you can see, our client has extensions on. So these extensions, she got it done from me only, but it has been 60 plus days and the extensions were almost intact and she trimmed down the length a little bit but, and uh, reshaped it. But other than that, the extensions were really strong. So if you want to know how your extensions can last this long, uh, so the main key is your prep work, okay? So what I did was I removed the uh, product entirely because as you can see her natural nails were already grown out and she wanted to keep them as it is so the best way to do that is uh, just clean up the nails and do a overlay and then do gel polish or nail art whatever you want because as soon as you take off the product from the nails you might feel like your natural nails are very fragile and there are two reasons one if you over file obviously nails will be weaker uh, two immediately after the extension when you take off the product you might feel like okay natural nails are a little you know too soft so that, that is bound to happen because we are used to having that strength of that artificial products right so that is normal but make sure you are not over filing that is a different story if you over file and make the nails really paper thin that's a different story okay so what we did here is i pushed back the cuticle and now i'm using my electrifile to do the dry manicure so for the um, electric file as you can see i'm using a red abrasive mark uh, flame bit uh, this is my kind of go-to bit and uh, she is a regular customer so uh, doesn't have like too much of uh, keratinized skin or dead skin around her cuticle area so red abrasive mark was more than enough for our you know uh, cuticle work and my machine is running on a 18,000 rpm uh, sometimes i go up to 20 22 also depending how much i have to work on the nail plate and make sure you're not again Again, da not damaging the nail plate while you are doing this in case if you are not sure how to use it um, I'll soon be uh, uploading a video where I will explain how to use a hand file to do a proper dry manicure okay so after cleaning up the cuticle area I uh, trimmed the keratinized skin from her epinicum area as you can see here so this part you have to be very careful uh, don't pull too much and you have to have like a really sharp nipper and just make sure you're not cutting into the live skin okay so here we have trimmed down this and then i'm using a hand file which is a 100 180 grit just buffing off and removing um, any excess leftover product just make sure making sure that i am removing all the shine also from the nails <coughs> Once you have cleaned the nails, then uh, the next thing is to clean up uh, the nail plate using a, a lint free wipe and alcohol. Another thing, I reshaped the nails, I think I missed that part in the video. Uh, so whenever you reshape, always check which one has the smallest nails and then accordingly you reshape the others. In case if you have all the nails at the same length and one nail is the broken one, then you can add a little product and extend that length to match the other nails. So it, it's totally Totally depends on what your client wants if they want all nails to be shorter then you do that or if they say okay keep all the length same as what you have and the smaller one the broken nail please do the extension then do accordingly okay so I have now cleaned the nail plate with alcohol and lint free and next we go ahead and apply a dehydrator and primer
Since we are going to do a polygel overlay, here I am going to apply a thin layer of base coat. So any kind of gel products, we always put a, a base gel. Uh, there are two reasons. One for better addition. Two, uh, when you soak it off uh, after filing down, when you soak it off, the base coat breaks and you can easily remove them. Okay. So there are two reasons why we apply. And if a particular product says you don't need to use a base coat, then that's a different story. You can directly apply that product but here uh, there is no such mention so I'm starting with a thin layer of base coat and then I'm going to cure it for a uh, 60 second under the UV LED lamp next I'm going to use a polygel so this is from a brand called shills and uh, I'm using a synthetic uh, number 8 brush so for polygel there are two types of brush one the smaller one that you can use uh, the ones that comes with uh, spatula and a brush uh, like the one that I have here or you can just use a, uh, a different brush uh, like an acrylic brush uh, which is number 8 so synthetic ones are the best in my opinion but you can use any brush as you are comfortable with so what I did here I picked up a small bead and I released it onto the nail plate and now I'm going to push back so when we do overlay we don't build too much thickness here like extensions and here the length is also like small length only nails are so we don't want like too much thickness at the same time we have to also give a like good balance uh, in terms of thickness and the architecture of the nail uh, here the nails are like normal kind of nails if you have like concave or convex type nails then maybe your application technique can be slightly different okay so here what I did I applied the product I am using the brush to gently move it around and bring it all the way to the free edge and then um, that's it we are done and then you can uh, send it for curing so with the polygel the best part is you can do like three four four uh, three four fingers at one time and then you can send it for curing all fingers together so that's the best part if you're using a builder gel then you have to do like one by one uh, but here since polygel has like a thicker consistency or viscosity you can do um, two three fingers at a time and then you can send it for curing now let's see one more finger so um, here uh, in the brush I'm using a slip solution so you can either buy a slip solution or instead of slip solution you can use alcohol also so here I'm using alcohol in between I'm dipping my brush in the alcohol a little bit not like monomer little bit and dry it uh, dry the brush in a tissue not like completely a little excess I release in the tissue and then I'm just using it to move around the product so this is how we do the over overlay um, once this is done you can send it for curing so here I uh, put the gel for curing for around 90 seconds uh, I just want to make sure that it is completely cured and once this is done then we can do the filing shaping after curing always wipe uh, the top side of the uh, product with lint free wipe and alcohol reason there is always a sticky layer uh, when the gel is cured under the lamp so we have to remove that before we start filing otherwise it will clog our file and then you have to change the file and take a new one so rather you clean it before you start filing so here uh, we already have the shape because we did the shaping before we started with the product application uh, but here on the pinky finger I had to extend the length a little bit so here I had to do like a little reshaping but if you see your shape is like kind of uh, you know off then you can obviously do a little bit more shaping otherwise you can just buff off the uh, surface area a little bit here we don't need too much filing because um, it's overlay so we just need to like uh, you know buff it and make it smooth so that uh, when we apply the gel polish we, it will look like really neat and clean Now we have finished up all the filing and I also did the buffing and after that I am using a gel polish. So the gel polish I am using is from Venalisa. This is number 744. This is my client's favorite gel color. So for the last I think 
three appointments she chose this exact same color and before also she came with uh, her sister and uh, her sister also got the same color so the whole family they love this color so i have kept this just for her <laughs> so uh if you have any customer like that just let me know in the comment section and if you have ever done a gel overlay let me know that in the comment section also uh after applying the gel polish i send it for curing and after curing i applied a no wipe top coat also just to seal the um uh, gel polish she didn't want any wanted any uh designs or anything she just she just wanted that color that's it okay so um after curing the gel i also applied a little bit of cuticle around the skin um uh, around the nails and then uh, that was the end of the service so this is it this is how we do the gel uh, in fact poly gel overlay if you think that this video helped you understand a little bit about gel overlay uh, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel and uh, turn on the notifications and if you really like this video please um, drop your suggestions comments or even if it's just it's just a heart then i'll be happy so i'll see you soon on my next video until then stay safe stay happy thank you for watching bye bye